Hello, this is Santos again. I'm here today to explain my theory, my hypothesis about uh, the nature of uh, depersonalization and derealization dissociation. So, this strange uh, disorder, nevertheless, it would seem very strange and weird. But in any case, in our houses, we have uh, this kind of encyclopedias, health, health encyclopedias. So you can find between C and E inputs, you can find the terms we are treating in these videos. I will translate for you. We can start with derealization, sensation that the world is unreal, usually linked with depersonalization. Uh, in many times it appears suddenly. People, affected people, have the sensation to look the, the world again against or through. A, a, a crystal screen as if every reality was uh, a movie so it's it's known this this uh, disease and the personalization appears in the other page unreality sensation like a robot this this sensation used to appear suddenly and could last just a moment or several hours frequently associated with the realization link with anxiety ansiedad in spanish anxiety panic attacks and another reasons to be dpdr are uh, meds or drugs like, like LSD, cannabis, weed, migraine, etc. So it it existed this uh, disease, and we have uh, several papers and books about this matter. I'm count. I'm, I I have count uh, as. Uh, seven books in in english and no one in spanish there there is no book books in spanish and and a lot of papers published scientific papers published by uh, for example the king's college department of Psych psychiatry like like that the personalization People often describe their experiences as if they were living in a dream or beyond life from behind glass. Even their own voice, reflection or parts of their body may seem strange and unfamiliar. They may feel emotionally numb as if nothing really matters anymore. Yes, yeah, that, that is completely true. We can live like a robot with no emotions, feeling nothing. And sometimes lack lack of empathy for others. And in the realization, familiar places places can appear artificial, replaced by a stage set. Other people may seem like actors, and objects can appear flat, two dimensional, or not solid. So we have uh, several papers published by experts, but in Nowhere I could find my theory, a very simple theory to explain all the symptoms related with the PDR. In this image you can find the structure of a human brain. The human brain, as, as, you, as you know, is divided in two parts, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. The logic hemisphere and the emotional hemisphere. 
So my hy hypothesis uh, is the, the following. A weak or absent connection between both hemispheres due to uh, chemical reasons, for example, uh, taking weed, uh, a, a stress, a very last, lasting stress, uh, a, a deep anxiety, a generalized anxiety, for example, that weak fix the connection between both 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 hemispheres. So, our thinking ego, we as as persons, we are thinking with words in this side, in the left side. And in, in that part, you can find colors, you can find the spark, you can find emotion, art, random, no logical. You can find in this part thinking in images, not words. Fun. It's analog not digital, true or false. The left side of the of the brain is logical. It uses words. It's symbolic. It needs order. It uh, occupies for uh, mathematical expressions and logical. It's very rational. Linear. He needs to think a step by a step not uh, it, it doesn't happen the same with the right hemisphere it can get the situation as a big picture it doesn't need it don't don't need the details for working properly the right hemisphere so if you can understand the the division this division of the of the of the human brain you can understand that when we face an emotion that is too strong too strong for us it's more than we can bear so this connection could break suddenly to protect ourselves from the negative emotion from the right side so this is an anomaly, but it's uh, logical because the, 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 the brain is uh, to, to protect itself from, from these uh, emotions. You can find here the, the functions we are lacking. We, we, miss, we are missing this function being the PDR. We, can, we are unable to enjoy from the art properly we don't have the big picture of projects of ourselves of our personality the time is distort because you are always living in in, in the present time it's very difficult to enjoy from the music as before or at least you don't have a, a, a right connection between the names and the music itself. Emotion, imagination, dream, colors. This part is gray. That part is colored because uh, the colors are processed in this part of the, of the, of the brain. Creativity fun so with my theory all the symptoms related with dpdr is due to an anomaly functioning of this part of the connection between left and right hemisphere they are only connected by a, a, a system very very stretch very little named uh, corpus callosum and they are very apart from each other so they they are only connected by a single point of failure so this is my engineer point of view of this uh, disease this dpdr disease so if this connection is broken or is missing 
we are always thinking in circles in this side. In a logical point of view, we are wondering, who am I? Why do I exist? What is the world? It doesn't mean anything to me, the world. The fun is here. The emotion is here, very far from, from us. So we can feel we are divided in two persons, in two egos, the logical one and the body mind who moves our body, who speaks. And so we are suffering this weird sensation uh, being the PDR. I hope you can understand what I'm saying, but my theory is very simple and it serves to uh, explain all the symptoms related with uh, DPDR and all the reasons. If we have an unbalanced chem chemical components here are bad and we are a very anxiety situation, we ignore the information provided with the right hemisphere and we are in prison, we are always thinking in this part, in the left side. One can live, one can live properly being only in the left side of the brain. One can work and do a very a, a normal life, but it's not the same. We are divided by, or we are two in two pieces. We are divided in two pieces. So. Uh, the real and normal state of mind is to have the both hemispheres connected in order to be able to feel and connect with our personality all the events that happens in the logical side that is my explanation so everything fits please if some if any kind of, of uh, neurologist, neurologist or psychiatrist or psychologist is viewing this video, please take me into account because this is a, a new approach to solve this, this problem. So my exercises you can find in my blog are, are defined in order to break, to break this connection and to be able to to think walking by the two sides from the left side to the right side normally so the problem is this point is blocked okay i'm expecting your call or your uh, communication by email please this is very important for a lot of people a lot lot of people is suffering desperately feeling divided feeling with no spark no heart no soul and it's only a neurological situation anomaly between both hemispheres i as you well know i suffer this uh, disease for 25 years many many years so i understand perfectly the symptoms and now that i am okay the differences between those uh, states okay i wish you the best bye bye